Hello, everybody. Welcome to our Relationship Marketing Podcast. Uh, we've got a very exciting show for you today. I uh, just want to thank everybody for tuning in and subscribing to the Relationship Marketing Podcast. We've had some amazing people on this show over the uh, past couple of months. Uh, you want to go on there and check that out, you know, look, watch those podcasts. It's amazing the people that come on here and their willingness to give of themselves, their time, their talents, their abilities, uh, all their expertise that they, they freely give to us on this show. And I just I want to reach out to all of our guests and thank you. Can't thank you enough for the content that you've provided for us on this show. And it's just, it, it, we're going to continue that today. Uh, we happen to have a very good friend of mine on the show today. We've had the chance to do some things that we like to do together. Um, this is a big motorcycle guy, and I'm a motorcycle guy. And uh, we've had a chance to go out in the desert, play in the dirt together a little bit. And uh, uh, without further ado, I'd like to welcome to our show today, uh, John Entries from Florida. John, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks, Cody. Yeah, so let's let's talk a little bit. You notice, uh, though, uh, most of you are listening in a podcast format, so you can't see John. But those of you who look on YouTube and watch our show on YouTube, you can see that John is actually in his work truck. Let me tell you a little bit about uh, John and what he does. Um, John is thirty years in the industry of the. Uh, motorcycle industry. He's actually an independent sales rep. He goes out and calls on motorcycle shops and uh, apparel stores and different things in the motorsports industry and has been doing it for a long time. Uh, he is the owner of Superior Power Sports Services. Now this is a this is an industry that's right up my alley. I mean I love motorsports. I love going to the dealerships anywhere I go. I like to stop in at dealerships and John, I think you have the dream job. I, I, I do. I, I, I would love to be able to go from place to place and go visit different uh, dealerships and whatnot and offer products and services to them, which you get the opportunity to do. Uh, you're an independent sales rep for eight different companies and um, represent motorsports, wholesale sales rep, prospects, dealerships, and accessory stores. Uh, you're coming to us out of your truck today, and I always like to, you've actually been on one of my shows before where you were in that same spot. You were actually yep. sitting right in your truck, and yep. you're, out there, you're out there working today, calling on accounts and whatnot. You've got a helmet sitting there on the, on the dash of the, of the truck. Uh, oh, wow, you got some cool helmets on the yeah, dash of the stuff. truck. Yep. Yeah, that looks good. I'm, I'm liking that that motocross helmet i just oh, I saw I might have to... that's got your name written all over it cody we'll have to work on that one yeah again. that 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 does we'll have to talk about that that's we'll right. have to talk about that august will be here so, before we know it yeah no kidding so let's talk i mean this is uh this is a very interesting um niche that you're involved with and been doing it for a long long time you know um it's kind of interesting. We live in a day and age now where a lot of things are done via internet and you're, you're one of the old school guys. You're still going out there and you're, you're calling on accounts. You're getting face to face with people, belly to belly. Uh, you're showing your wares, you're showing your products. Um, that's kind of a lost art anymore. I mean, you know, and so you're out there doing it every day. So what, what's it like competing with, with the internet i mean i know that dealerships now can just go online and find stuff on their own i mean right. what is what i'm sure things have shifted for you there's a lot of our listeners that are in the same boat you know what whatever industry they're in right. where amazon and everything else is shifting what all of us are doing and you're you're still experiencing great success in kind of the i don't want to say old school format but it kind of is you know you're out there calling every day so what what's right. that like for you it's 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 been a challenge. Uh, I won't uh, disagree with you, Joel. You know, you hate to say it, but Amazon's an 800-pound gorilla out there. Um, <clears throat> there's fortunately, at least for product lines that I represent, um, there's a thing that's called um, uh, map pricing. So there's a way of at least uh, for the dealers to be competitive, the brick and mortar stores to be competitive with online, whereas there is a 
Um, it's called minimum advertised price. So it's like if it's one ninety nine ninety nine, you know, nobody gets to go below that. So at least it evens the playing field. And then you've got dealers that actually that will, you know, sell on Amazon. So I have uh, one of my top dealers actually. Amazon's he he feeds the animal. So it uh, it's helping me. So I'm kind of working both sides of it. But the brick and mortar is still where the the bulk of the business is being done. So. Yeah, I mean, the interesting thing about the whole, I like you call it the Amazon gorilla or whatever, you know, and, and again, the whole world is kind of shifting to that. But it, it's interesting because the, the, the lost art that's being created out there is that one-on-one -on -one relationship with people. Right. So talk to us a little bit about that, the importance of getting face-to-face -face with people versus having them stare at a screen. You know, a good example of that is a uh, uh, a brand new line that I picked up. You know, it's it's highly competitive. If you, um, it's just inexpensive sunglasses. You go into almost any store and there's a rack. You know, with those twenty dollar sunglasses, it's an impulse buy. There's a lot of competition in that market. And just uh, I literally picked the line up two weeks ago, and have been very successful in converting people from other brands to mine just because I'm coming in. Literally the, the a dealer said, you know what, you're here every month, it's yours. Just fill it up, take care of it. And I'm, I've been very surprised on how often that's happened just because of the fact that I've been stopping in for the last seven years that uh, that relationship makes that big a deal. And uh, the guys at, the, at the, the sunglass company told me, you'll see that. He said, you just got to go out there and try it. It's happening. It's, it's pretty cool. So what's the, what's the sunglass brand? Uh, undercover Eyewear. Is the brand name? They're one of the big. You know, got, there's there's a uh, there's four really big companies out there. It's uh, it's again yeah, off brand stuff. It's not like a Ray Ban or a, an Oakley. It's your it's your fifteen to forty dollar retail products, including goggles. You know over you know so 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 when you go into a store, when you go into a dealership with a with a product like that, do they like do they have the displays and stuff? Like do you set up displays to put the sunglasses on and do some of that? Uh, both, a little bit of both. Stuff, yeah, a little bit of both. Uh, some of the stores have existing racks already uh, that they may have had from my company, you know, from years ago, but they haven't had a rep for a while, and they got filled with other people's product, and or I'm filling somebody else's rack. Same thing. So it's it's, it's a doggy dog, pretty competitive world out there on the on the sunglasses. Okay, so you're sitting in your truck, and you you have supplies in your truck, right? I mean, what what do you have back in the truck there? Back of the truck is full of samples. There's probably uh, 40 helmets back there. There is, uh, I don't know if you can catch a little glimpse here, there's a little bit of audio. I've got UTV audio sitting back here that's all powered up. I've got the only traveling showroom in the entire United States where it's powered up and sound. You can crank it up. Um, <clears throat> all my sunglass samples, there's um, there's lots of neck braces. There's, yeah, there's, that truck is full. It's an old, it's an old FedEx truck, so it's there's a lot of shelving back here. So, so you say it's full of samples. So when you go into a store that you're calling on, um, you, you have a you you have a tangible sample there. So you can they can touch it, feel it, look at it, Correct. have right you on. explain it, versus Correct. going online. It's kind of interesting because you know uh, my wife Jody, she's a big Amazon. She you know she shops on Amazon all the time, and it's like almost every day there's <laughs> there's some drop off at the front door. Um, and she's gotten really, really good at the whole Amazon shopping thing. Uh, but I still struggle a little bit with it because I like to see what I'm buying. You know, I like to see stuff. And uh, I've got to believe if I'm running a dealership selling motorcycles and, you know, I've got a rep coming in that wants to offer new helmets or new accessories or new pipes or new something. I don't know, man. I, I just right. I just like to, to touch and see it, which is it's kind of cool that you're out still driving the truck. So how many stops do you make? I mean, how many places do you call on? Uh, every day is a little different, but it's anywhere from four to eight stops in a day. It all depends on how big the account is. You know, my, my goal is that they get big enough. I'm only hitting two in the morning and two in the afternoon, but those days are still getting there. And you do that every day? You do that? I'm out, yeah, five days a week, um, Monday through Friday in the different parts of the state. So, I mean, you know, one one week I might be in the Tampa area. Uh, last week I was I ran the Miami metro area. Uh, this week I'm running Orlando down to Fort Myers and Naples. So it's uh, different parts of the state. 
I mean, that's yeah. I run a I run an eight week schedule. I've uh, most typically more of a four, but there's an eight week rotation in that too. So and I've been doing that that and that has worked for me over the years. I mean, there's some people that still kind of shotgun and say, "Where am I going today?" And you know, I've been doing this for 30 years. And when I started as a 23 year old kid in this industry, you know, that's kind of what I figured we needed to do. I needed to be consistent, you know, because nobody knew who I was. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm the, you know, the new kid in the block. They don't know me from nobody. So I had to just, for almost a year, I had to just keep showing up just for people to even believe me that I was going to keep coming back because there's so many reps that, you know, show up one or two times and then you never see them again. So it's, it's all of the consistency and keeping in front of them. Now you're, you're a real motorhead. I mean, you, you like to get out and, and get into the motorsports. Uh, you, you know, you've got the toys, you do the plan. So I got to believe there's a real passion behind what you're doing. I mean, you know, like I said, you and I are looking at the helmets on, on your dashboard there and I'm still giddy about that right. orange helmet that I'm staring at. So <laughs> when you get like, when you get a new product from a manufacturer, like you get that new helmet line in or you get the new sunglass right. line or the pipe or whatever, do you still get that same exhilaration, that same excitement that you did when you were 23 years old? Oh yeah. When it, if it's, if it's something like this and it's exciting, it's got some features that nobody else has and we're setting the industry on its ear and, and you know, you're going to move some numbers, nothing, Nothing, uh, nothing turns a salesman on no, more than knowing he can make a few bucks off of selling something. <laughs> well, and it's exciting. It, 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 you know, it's not only making the bucks off of selling something, it's being excited about what you're selling. And I think that's a real important message for those listening here today is find your passion. You know, John, John has a passion for motorsports. And so that's probably, you know, in, in a, like you say, it's a very competitive world in, in what you're doing you stay in it because of your passion for the products and, and whatnot. So it's very important to, to find that passion and stick to that passion and you can make anything work. Well, let's shift a little bit. Um, I want to, let, let's talk about some of your strategies. I mean, obviously you need to do a lot of things to stay top of mind with your client base. Uh, you implement a relationship marketing strategy over the past, uh, a, probably the past year or so, and you've got some pretty compelling stories, pretty compelling stories around sending tangible, real greeting cards and using a relationship marketing system. Uh, in fact, I'd like you to just share with our audience your story when you first started using the system. In fact, I think the way you started out is you sent a card to 80 of your, of your clients, kind of an appreciation card. Can you kind of just walk us through right. that and what happened? When I first got started in, with send-out cards um, with the service here, um, I mean, I've, I had I have some help. Uh, I have to say, you know, without Darla DeGrandy, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. She is the absolute – I can't even say enough for her. She, I appreciate her so much. But she's helped me along the way and helped me you know, design the cards that I'm going to use. Um, I gave her some ideas, and she kind of maybe tweaks a little bit. But um, – you know, a good example, like I said, the very first card I sent out was just a basic thank you card. And on the inside, you know, I put all the different dealers, I put the different logos on the top. And on the inside, I just put, you know, Dear Craig, I just want to thank you so much for your business. It's greatly appreciated. And then sign my name on the bottom. So that was the basic card that went out at the very beginning. And um, got some really so good how responses many, off. And how many people did you send that to? The first one, I believe, was 80. 80 people. Okay, and when, yep. you, when you say you got responses off of it, what, like, how did they respond? They call you? What did they do? I had a few phone calls. I got a lot of texts, you know, when I stopped in, even, you know, I find, you know, the cars laying on their desk yet. So they've kept it. It, um, there's nobody else. There's nobody else sending out cards. I mean, I watch and as I go through the year, I send out a different card every month and, you know, the funny cards, especially, you know, like that, you know, I've always been putting some humor in my cards those will stay on the desk for quite a while. So they appreciate it. Yeah, that's, that's great. So, um, so you started by doing this and did you do this during a kind of a slow season for you? You kind of started sending this out or you implemented this at a slow time. June, uh, July, 2017, things were getting, they were fairly quiet. Um, as July's typically are here in Florida. 
Uh, it sounds weird, but yeah, we're backwards from everybody else. July is one of our slowest times of year in the motorcycle industry. So I um, started sending out the cards and I started working, um, working it. And by the end of the year, I had my best year ever. 2017 out of the 30 plus years I've been in the industry was my best year I'd ever had. So in six months to completely turn around what was happening, um, by just by sending all thank you cards and then, you know, occasional brownies once in a while doesn't hurt either. <laughs> <laughs> so do you attribute most of that turn? Cause whenever there's a turnaround in business, what I've found is that there's, there's usually multiple things that help the turnaround. So, do you attribute most of that turnaround just to the cards and the relationship system or were there other factors that you think might have played into it? It, you know, it, it had a lot to, it had almost entirely to do with the cards. I literally in the, in the tail end of September of 2017, I actually lost one of my best lines. It went from going through independent reps to a distributor. So the last four months of the year, I didn't have, my best line that I had. So I had to somehow make it up with everything else that I had. And I don't know what else to say. I mean, I didn't do anything different other than just keep working my accounts and working on whatever programs that were available from the manufacturers. And it happened. And then amazing. in addition to that, you had, you had a, you had a video out that I watched and took to heart. And he was talking about, if you will, 10 T I guarantee you'll to uh, be double your business. So t touch 10 tangible touch in a year that you'll double your business. And I said, I had nothing to lose. So I continued on that. And that's why I kept working that system. And I truly believe it worked because I give you, so I'll give you that example of continue on from 2017. So now 2018, I didn't lose just one line. I lost three lines. It's kind of the way an independent life goes. You gain lines, you lose lines. So the three lines that I lost in the tail end of 2017 was $50,000 in income. So reality is I started January 1st, 2018, $50,000 less than I made the previous year. So I had to make up that 50 grand just to try and even start getting even from where I was the year before. And I can tell you that 2018, I was up from 2017. It was actually my best year last year. Wow. So you started in the hole and you ended up with your best year ever just, just off of doing this. Now you do some pretty cool stuff now. I mean, you, you do a lot of things with the cards today. Can you just kind of walk us through some of the process that you do? So I've learned that people, you know, I, I've got a sense of humor. People are starting to appreciate it. So even on my Christmas cards, I put a little sense of humor in it. You know, I pick up some memes off the internet, have some fun, you know, lighten it up a little bit, same thing on the inside, and then just put so, you know, dear Craig, you know, I'm so grateful for my family and friends and loved ones for all your love and support over the years. Thank you once again, and may you and your family have a happy and healthy holiday season. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And then sign my name on the bottom. So, okay, Christmas. so, so real quick, those uh, that are watching on YouTube, they can actually kind of see what you're holding up there for those right. of our listeners. You know, you got some pretty creative cards there. Like you've got some animation going on. You know, you've, you've got some cartoony type stuff going on with some quotes in them that, that yeah, there you go. So he, right now he's showing a picture of, of Santa with a little quote mark and there's humorous yeah. stuff going on. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Ho, ho, hello, everyone. So yeah. with, when, when people look at that, it's like, well, wow, how, are, how do you make that card? I mean, how do you find the imagery? How do you make that card uh, and get it out in, a, in an efficient way? So the service you guys offer is amazing. Um, all these car, I mean, all these pictures, almost all of them, I pull off the internet as a, as a, a meme or pictures on the inside. I mean, I'm, I'm going to show you a fun one. So Cody's going to appreciate this one. Anybody can watch it. You know, we went riding last year and nice. I sent this card to everybody that was on the ride. I mean, that was, <laughs> that was awesome. I said, there's, we all need to remember that because that was so much yeah. fun. You know, so these are just pictures you have on your phone or pictures you have on your computer that you just download into the service and you just, you can load it right on the car. It's super fast, super easy to do. You can now adjust the sizing and colors a little bit. And it's, it just makes it so easy to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Now you've mentioned that you've, you know, you had people that kind of trained you how to do that. 
Uh, you mentioned the name Darla DeGrandi, who is a relationship marketing specialist who actually, and we have lots of those. In fact, you've become a relationship marketing specialist yourself, a referral partner for Sent Out Cards, so you can actually show others how to do that as well. And, right. um, and you kind of mentioned the importance of that. You know, you, you were coached through how to start using this system and and you know i'm sure darla was probably the one that showed you how to pull an image off of the internet and put it onto a card and that's one of the right. neat things that we, we offer in send out cards where this system comes from is that we have thousands and thousands of independent uh, refer, uh referral partners that can show people how to do that so i, I think that's a real important aspect and again you know God, it's just cool. You, you've got some other stuff too. I mean, you've got a lot of stuff. I love how you, you, you touch on the customer at least once a month. Um, what are some of the other things that you do? Uh, so I'm a, so I'm a, here's a great one that happened. You know, we talk about watching for people, things that happen in people's lives. I've had two, two close friends of mine that lost their mom last year. And I went on and picked some pictures off the internet, you know, because everybody posts stuff on Facebook and stuff. So I pulled pictures off of their mom alone, you know, good time, you know, younger, older, you know, family pictures and put it all together and send them. And it says, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, it's always a, a challenging time when you lose somebody special, but just remember that you loved something along that line. I remember what it was. And just always remember the good times is what I always make sure I put on there. Six months later, we were at an event. We were at a camp on event, and, and this big guy come up to me, and he says, I need to talk. And I'm like, okay. And he pulls me off to the side, and he gave me the biggest hug you've ever seen. He said, that card was just absolutely amazing. He said, thank you so much for that card. And I was just like, uh, you're welcome. I mean, he says, I've never seen this guy. You know, just like when I talk about my dad, I mean, the emotion, the emotion some of these cards are bringing out is just it's, it's pretty cool. Well, it kind of shows you, you know, people people are starving for that you know people are starving to feel appreciated they're starving to feel like somebody cares about them you know and that's one of the cool things about sending a card especially like you you've just shown some great examples you know we went on that ride last year and you made sure you took pictures of the ride and we all got cards from you from that and and it does mean a lot and i still have the cards you sent me and you know we save them all so, and, right. and it's great memories because when we were out there doing stuff we love to do, you know, that's that actually yeah. that ride that we did last April, I think it was out in the desert in Utah. I mean, that's one of my fondest memories. I mean, we had a wonderful time out there. Remember we had the, the, uh, Sean the Galloway drones. was with us. We had the drones flying and we were, yep. in fact, we even made a little video. Yeah. We made a little video of that show. We so did. great memories, and but. And we, after Afterwards, I finally figured out how to use my camera, so we could have had some good sound too. <laughs> Didn't have the audio <laughs> set right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, I'll tell you what. You know, it's 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 always a delight to have you on the show. We'll have you come back and just share some of your success stories. Uh, as we, we close out, I just want you. To, this is the the time I always like to end the show with. Just kind of giving giving you the floor. I mean, this is your time to just share with people a message that you think is important for them to hear, whether it's, whether it's uh, relationship marketing oriented or even life oriented, you know, what you've learned by using this relationship system, uh, what you've learned in your business and what you've learned about it in your personal life. Um, just close out the show and share some wisdom from John. Go ahead. What this service has done for me is not just help build my business um it's made it's made me a better person um it's allowed me to see more of myself i guess what i'm looking for is the words i'm looking for here um how to care for people a little more um you know we certain uh, lots of things in life you have to learn by trial and error and hopefully you got a coach or hope you got somebody that can help you out a little bit too or somebody you can even talk to there's so many people, like Cody was saying, just starving for attention. There's just people that they won't talk to anybody. So if you're clammed up, it doesn't help. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have an awesome mentor. And I've mentioned her name before, but Darla DeGrandi. I told her, I said, I put 100% faith in her. When I started with, with Send Out Cards, I completely emptied out my savings account to sign up. And I said, I am absolutely hanging onto your coattails. And I will figure this thing out. And she said, if you do what I tell you to do, we'll get through this. And... 
it, it was, I put trust in somebody and, um, and she's done nothing but steer me in the right direction. So, uh, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for people's, uh, you know, a little extra help and attention. It, um, it pays off, you know, something don't look necessarily at the, at the cost. It might cost you per month. You know, like I said, the, the, the response I got from my dad was worth every penny I've ever spent on this, you know, where he was just in tears. Um, when I told him about you, I loved him in one of the cards. I mean, it was just, it was just a basic father's day card, but something that really sent uh, from the heart for a change and, Go from the heart. It'll work. Well, there you have it, everybody. John Andres from Superior Power Support Services out of Florida. John, love having you on the show. We'll probably have you come on again here soon. And uh, keep uh, rubber side down, brother. Keep things going good. Stay safe. And appreciate to all you do. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in with us today. And uh, look forward to seeing you on yet another episode of our Relationship Marketing Podcast. Take care, everybody. If you have enjoyed this episode of the Relationship Marketing Podcast with Cody B, be sure to subscribe to the show and leave a review so that together we can get this message, The Power of Human Connection, out to the world. You can find Cody's new book, The Power of Human Connection, on Amazon or the Send Out Cards gift store.